Here I am in the place to be. Mr. K and B, you can't fuck with me. Extra sexy, extraordinary. Palms are hairy. Your mama pop. What up, y'all? K and B, the sexy ninja in the place to be for C Plus Studios, and this is the sexy ninja cast, or AKA. Until this show is over, the unofficial podcast to Tulsa King. Episode 5 just dropped Token Joe, and man, Dwight goes home. He goes back to New York for the funeral of his brother. Finds out some things, tries to mend a relationship with his daughter, and finding out that his daughter was potentially, um, whew, by, uh, oh, <laughs> man. Ah, uh, I... <sighs> By uh, one of the crew members of the old gang back in New York, Pete. You know, he Pete the Package, as he was recalled. And there's a great scene with um, Dwight and his daughter in her flower shop. And he, she was like, I understand why they call him the Package now and this and that. And Dwight's like, what do you mean? And then in a fit of rage, man, he goes to the hospital to find the find the find his uh, the old gang and stuff like that, and he's he like, and he goes to the old man, and the old man's pretty much in the hospital bed dying. You know, he asked him, he's like, did you know? And he's like, I didn't know, what do you mean? What I know? What did you know? And in this great moment of just acting, Stallone just gets up. You could feel the anger and rage, and he grabs his face. He's like, did you know? And he looks at him, he could tell in his eyes he didn't know. So while all this is going on, and uh, Dwight's in New York, uh, a few, there's a few things in, um, uh, in Tulsa that is happening that needs Dwight's attention, but he ain't there. You know, and the Tyson got pulled over by the cops, and these cops are working for uh, pretty much the villain of the story. You know, uh, K- Kowalan w- Waltrip, he's the head of this biker gang, and, you know, we're, we're getting more in him. He's he's a ruthless motherfucker. That is who this dude is. <laughs> oh, you know, he uh, kidnapped Brody, got Tyson pulled over by the cops, and they stole uh, Tyson's phone, even his money. The cops are corrupted in this town. And, you know, they, they took um, Dwight's car, so I can't wait until Dwight gets home and gets been. I just saw the preview of the next episode. You know, he meets up, but he's going to be with Mitch. They're going to go meet up with um, Waltrip. I'm just going to call him his last name because that's a little bit easier easier for me. And he's, he's going to, ah. And, but... Uh, besides that, this episode, he's trying so hard to reconnect with his family, his his uh, ex wife and stuff like that. Especially his uh, his his daughter in general he wants to see his grandkids, and you know his his old gang is like, "Yo, you need to come here." He's like, "No." Dwight Dwight is now on this verge of no fucks, no fucks given. He he did his twenty five years, and for what, and probably set up and everything like that. You know, Armand, Armand is a, he's back and he's hearing, um, like he, he went to the horse, the horse where they train horses and stuff. And they asked him like, Hey, heard about last night. You need to watch out. And the lady that runs the place, he's like, what the fuck you mean? And and she goes, you should Google this dude. This, this biker gang ain't no joke, especially their leader and everything like that. And his dude ain't no joke, man. The fact that he already kidnapped Bodie, he was about to cut him. And then these corrupt cops are under his dime and, you know, Dwight has a lot to do when he gets back to Tulsa. When, you know, and I think being back in New York, Dwight's opened his eyes a little bit to the fact that this isn't my place anymore. I'm not, this This isn't home, you know. In some weird way, I feel like he, he's deep down, he's like Tulsa's home now in Oklahoma. And, but what he does to Pete <laughs> in a fit of rage, even though his daughter's like, don't do anything, blah, 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 blah. But it, Dwight, I said, gives no fucks anymore, man. And this great scene, they're down, his, the crew's down at the club. He leaves the old man after, like, seeing in his eyes that he didn't know what he was talking about. And he goes down, fucking just, just wrecks Pete. Bam, bam, face on a grill. You know, then like when the, the guys are like, oh, we don't know what the fuck to do, you know. So he's dragging, like, what are you doing? And they're like, Bam, he stomps his head in mafioso style, just a beat down, a beat downs. And he's like, you guys clean it up. And he leaves, and that's how we end the episode. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> it's getting real, man. 
Man, I think we only have 10 episodes. We got five more episodes. I'd like to see where this goes. I like. I can't wait until Dwight gets back in, into Tulsa to figure out, you know, get Tyson, get Brody. And I don't know Brody. And then they showed in the preview of the next episode that uh, the FBI is now involved. And, you know, uh, Stacy's trying to tell him, like, yo, you better quit this out. Like, there's a lot going into this. And the fact that we're going to get a little bit more Mitch. I like Mitch. And the fact uh, when they when, um the cops brought... Uh, uh, not Brody, Bodie, <laughs> to to Mitch's uh, bar. They're like, we need to talk. And he's like, get the fuck out of my you know bar. Get the hell. And then they're like, yes, you better watch out. He's like, yo, on reservation land, right where you guys are at, you have no fucking authority. So get at the fuck out. And I was like, damn, Mitch is a badass. Oh my god. And Bodie's like, get these cuffs off me, fool. You know. So I, I wonder, though, where Bodhi's going to like rest and what his loyalty is. Because obviously he didn't want this life of being under Dwight's thumb. But Dwight, in, in all honesty, man, got him a better deal with the weed farm. Um, you know, he's growing his business and this and that, making money and having, you know, making money. That's all this is about, you know, because... Um, Walter asked him, like, what does he want? He goes, what does everybody want? They want money. So Walter was like, yo, he's trying to take my money? No. And that's what it comes down to is the mighty green. So I can't wait until next week's episode, episode six. Uh, you should go check it out right now. It's on Paramount Plus and Stallone, 76 years old, still looks fantastic. Oh, and I, I really hope that what he did to Pete doesn't affect more with his daughter because even though it will, because she said, don't do anything, don't do anything at all. Even uh, his old gang, then the next preview I saw, they went to the old man and like, well, we need to do something with Dwight. This is, this is not okay. You know, they have this old school mentality and stuff like that, especially with this, this life, this gang gangster life, you know? So I, I'm excited. Tulsa King episode five, token Joe, Ugh. So go check it out. If you have not seen this show, you should check out this show. I'm trying to cover every single episode as we get along. And this episode at the end, I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to talk about it. Oh, and I know Big Daddy's watching it as well, man. It's a, this this show is, is, it starts, it's funny, it's serious, it's dramatic, it's full of like, oh my God moments, and just the, the gangster swagness of this show is in full effect. So, episode five, Token Joe, check it out. The unofficial podcast, of Tulsa King, till episode 10. Um, check it out. And shout out to Stallone, man. 76. Ooh, I want to look that good. On I, I'm barely looking good now. I got a foot, a foot in a freaking uh, salt bath here because I can't bend my toe. And I'm trying to look good like Stallone. <laughs> There's no way, man. So, like and subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandpa. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the Sexy Ninja. And as always, stay sexy, ninjas. Whoop, whoop. Welcome to the Wicked Shit. 